Kingdom Come Deliverance has been out for a few weeks now and it's selling pretty well. So far the game has sold over a million copies across all platforms and that's not bad for what was essentially a Kickstarter project. But some new info has surfaced about this game's budget and it turns out that it actually had quite a lot of cash behind it. According to the latest issue of the Czech Republic edition of Forbes magazine, Kingdom Come Deliverance reportedly had a development budget of 750 million crowns or roughly 36.5 million dollars. The issue, which also included a profile on game director Daniel Vavra, revealed this figure does not include marketing costs and the budget was a lot bigger than previously thought. Kingdom Come Deliverance was originally pitched as a Kickstarter project and Warhorse were looking for $300,000 to prove to investors there was a demand for the game. During the Kickstarter campaign, Warhorse revealed the original budget for Deliverance was set to be around $5 million and in February 2014, Deliverance was successfully kickstarted to the tune of $1.1 million dollars and by October Vavra revealed they had received a total of two million dollars from crowdfunding. It is however unclear if the new development budget included the money raised through crowdfunding. This means over the four year development cycle of deliverance the budget increased by 31 million dollars around six times more than originally thought. As for marketing it's believed to have been handled by publisher Deep Silver who came on board after the game was successfully kickstarted. Not too long ago executive producer Martin Klima said he doesn't think deliverance would be competing with big budget games like Shadow of War or Assassin's Creed because the team simply doesn't have the resources to create a game on that scale. But at the same time he thinks Deliverance isn't exactly a traditional indie game either because of the increased budget and size of the development team. And on top of that selling around 1 million copies across all platforms in just under two weeks like this game has done is not usually the kind of thing you'd see from an indie game. Yeah so I guess that's one of the most interesting things about this is the where where is it in the kind of spectrum of, of being an indie game and a triple A game. Started out as a Kickstarter, famously a Kickstarter I guess, and it got a lot of money that way, it got a couple of million that way, but that was essentially a proof of concept thing, so they took that to the investors and went, look, like loads of people have pledged this money to make this game, there is demand for it, please can we have some of your money as well so we can do a proper job of it. So then it kind of straddles this thing of being between AAA and Indie, and uh, yeah, it turns out they spent 35 for whatever million dollars, I can't remember what it was, but it was, <laughs> turns out they, spent, money. Yeah, they, turn, they spent over 30 million dollars to make this game, so that is a lot. Money. Yeah, there is a case for it to be made that it is a triple A game because it's you know how much money do you need to spend on a game before it's triple A? I think the definition by you know if you Google or whatever like I've you know done in the past, it's something like um, the marketing budgets has to be of the highest like the high, the highest marketing budgets, which is the two you know defined as triple A. This didn't have that. This didn't have that um, huge marketing budget that a huge AAA. Does that mean that it's not AAA because they haven't spent enough money um, you know, marketing the game? This is a lot of money that they've spent on making the game, but because they haven't been singing from the rooftops about it, does that mean that it's not AAA? I mean, I'm not, I'm not one to judge, but I would say that there's probably AAA games made in the past with less of a, a budget than this game because 36 million is a huge amount and um, it's, it's a huge increase on what they expected. They obviously had a lot of support along the way. Maybe the publisher stepped in uh, once they proved that there was the for the game by using Kickstarter and once they secured a lot of early access money which they probably did because they released the um, the early access version probably got a lot of, um, lot of backing that way then they could prove to people look we, you know there's a demand for this game give us some more money to finish our game properly they didn't really do that did they Mike they didn't finish it properly they could have ironed out a few more bugs but still like Mike said straddle to that middle line what, what do you guys think should it should it is it is it triple a just because they didn't spend the 50 million on marketing like COD does or whatever of course Daniel Vavra which is the the lead developer on this game was the guy who back in August 2017 at the Devcom conference Conference, um, said that you could make a, a competition or a game like Call of Duty for around five or six million dollars which was a bit of a stretch he actually came out on one of our videos when we covered it at the time and said it was a bit of a stretch maybe a little bit more maybe he completely underestimated how much it takes to make a game because obviously you know he stretched his budget out a little bit for Kingdom Come Deliverance and a couple of other things to note too Skyrim which is the game that a lot of people have co compared Kingdom Come to they had an 85 million dollars budget marketing as well so yeah, um, Kingdom Come was a, the budget stated 32, 36. Maybe we should like scroll should, up maybe the script should. and then. <laughs> 31. Oh, no, no, wait. I'm going to increase by 31, so it's 36, yeah. 36.5 million dollars. There, there you so go. So, so this huge number one newsreaders. <laughs> Oh my, you're burning this, Mike. You're burning this. <laughs> oh, where's the point of having comments if we burn ourselves? What's the point? <laughs> The $36.5 million that was without marketing too, so I can't imagine that they spent 
anywhere near that on marketing, to be honest. They weren't the boardings down the local co op like there was. Yeah, in, yeah, with, that's, that's it. It's a, there's a with mainstream feel with AAA releases and stuff like Skyrim and that. And when they come out, and they've got these huge budgets. And, and I think, especially in Skyrim's case, Bethesda is kind of look, viewed on, uh, I guess, with a bit of jealousy from the, around the industry, or maybe that's not the right word, but they look at uh, a game like Skyrim and they don't spend that m much on development compared to marketing. And they, they come out with this massive, massive blockbuster game while keeping the development costs down and all the money goes into marketing and, and the demo reels and appearances at, at E3 and things like that and then they've got their own bloody uh, stage conferences and things like that going on to promote these games but still the development costs are quite low so then you, you compete when you put that marketing against something like Kingdom Come Deliverance, the, the gap is absolutely enormous isn't it? You know that's what's to be mentioned there I think that's why Kingdom Come Deliverance, Deliverance is still a smaller thing than a, a big AAA blockbuster release like Skyrim. So whether you think it is AAA budget or whether it's a AAA size game or not, one thing's for certain that this was started out as an indie type of project, a, a kind of a large indie, I, I mean, I don't even know what to call it, a double A, people, some, some people call it. This game for sure has brought something new to the industry. It is different from the chip, all AAA games, because AAA games, they're all like yearly iterations, they're all in the same kind of formula, formula. they do the same thing almost year in, year out. Whereas this is different and I hope the success of this game does enthuse other developers who, who want to aim for that kind of high-end indie type game and want to be creative with it and want to try and compete with the Call of Duties and the Skyrims and all that. I hope this does give them some sort of inspiration to go forward and, and just take a chance on it because like th these guys have proved, like Hellblade have proved, it can be done. So that was the budget for Kingdom Come Deliverance. Does that surprise you seeing that figure like that? Let us know what you think down in the comments below. Remember to like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you want to see more stuff like this every single day. There's another video right there which you can watch right now if you want and a link to Patreon if you want to support the channel. See you next time.